Once there was a young man, who was unhappy with his life. He felt restless, anxious, and dissatisfied. He wanted to find peace and happiness, but he didn't know how. He decided to travel to a distant land, where he heard there was a wise Zen master, who could teach him the way. He packed his bags and set off on his journey. He crossed mountains and rivers, deserts and forests, until he finally reached the temple where the Zen master lived. He knocked on the door and asked to see the master. The master welcomed him and invited him to sit down. The young man bowed and said, Master, I have come to learn from you. I want to know how to stay calm and positive in life. Please teach me the way of Zen. The master smiled and said, Very well. I will teach you the way of Zen. But first, you must do something for me. What is it, master? The young man asked eagerly. The master pointed to a large pile of rocks in the courtyard. You see those rocks? I want you to move them from here to there, he said, pointing to another spot in the courtyard. The young man was puzzled. He thought, the master would give him some profound teachings, or instructions, not a mundane task. But he didn't want to question, the master's wisdom, so he agreed to do as he was told. He started to move the rocks, one by one, from the pile to the spot. He worked hard, sweating and panting, under the hot sun. He wondered, what the point of this exercise was, but he kept his doubts to himself. He moved the rocks for hours, until he finally finished. He went back to the master and said, Master, I have done as you asked. I have moved all the rocks, from here to there. Now, please teach me the way of Zen. The master nodded and said, Good. Now, move them back. The young man was shocked. He couldn't believe what he heard. He had just spent hours moving the rocks, and now the master wanted him to undo his work. He felt angry and frustrated. He wanted to protest, but he was afraid to offend the master. He thought maybe this was a test of his patience or perseverance. He decided to comply, hoping that the master would finally teach him the way of Zen. He moved the rocks back, one by one, from the spot to the pile. He worked harder, grumbling and complaining, under the scorching sun. He wondered how long this would go on, but he kept his mouth shut. He moved the rocks for hours, until he finally finished. He went back to the master and said, Master, I have done as you asked. I have moved all the rocks back. Now, please teach me the way of Zen. The master nodded and said, Good. Now, move them again. The young man was outraged. He couldn't take it anymore. He had just spent hours moving the rocks back and forth, and now the master wanted him to do it again. He felt cheated and betrayed. He wanted to scream, but he was afraid to anger the master. He thought maybe this was a trick or a joke. He decided to confront the master, hoping that he would explain himself. He said, Master, I have done everything you asked. I have moved the rocks from here to there, and back, and again. I have wasted my time and energy, and I have learned nothing. What is the meaning of this? What is the way of Zen? The master looked at him and said, The way of Zen is to move the rocks. The young man was stunned. He didn't understand what the master meant. He felt confused and lost. He wanted to cry, but he was too proud to show his weakness. He thought maybe this was the end of his journey. He decided to leave, hoping that he would find another way. He said, Master, I thank you for your hospitality, but I cannot stay here any longer. I have to go and seek the way of Zen elsewhere. The master said, As you wish. You are free to go. But before you leave, let me ask you one question. What is it, master? The young man asked. The master said, when you were moving the rocks, what were you thinking? The young man thought for a moment and said, when I was moving the rocks. I was thinking about how to stay calm and positive in life. I was thinking about the way of Zen. The master said, and when you were not moving the rocks. What were you thinking? 
The young man thought for another moment and said, when I was not moving the rocks, I was thinking about moving the rocks. The master said, that is the way of Zen. The young man was speechless. He realized what the master had taught him. He realized that the way of Zen was not something to be learned or taught, but something to be lived and experienced. He realized that the way of Zen, was to be present and aware in every moment, to be free from attachment and aversion, to be calm and positive in every situation. He realized that the way of Zen was to move the rocks. He bowed to the master and said, Master, I thank you for your wisdom. You have shown me the way of Zen. I will never forget your lesson. Dear viewers, as master taught, the true essence of staying calm and positive in life lies in being fully present and engaged in the present moment, rather than dwelling on past regrets or future worries. The young man initially sought wisdom from the Zen master, hoping for profound teachings, but instead was given a simple task of moving rocks. Through the repetitive task, he learned the invaluable lesson that the key to inner peace and positivity is to be fully present and focused on whatever task or situation is at hand. In our daily lives, we often find ourselves dwelling on past mistakes or worrying about the future, which can lead to anxiety and dissatisfaction. However, this story teaches us that by embracing the present moment, and fully immersing ourselves in whatever we are doing. Whether it's mundane chores or challenging tasks, we can cultivate a sense of calm and positivity. Just like the young man learned to focus on moving the rocks when he was doing it and not when he wasn't. We too can learn to be present and engaged in whatever we are experiencing, whether it's joyous or challenging. By practicing mindfulness and letting go of attachment to outcomes, we can find peace and contentment in every moment of our lives. To the viewers who are watching this, I hope you enjoyed this story and learned something from it. I hope you will try to move the rocks in your own way and discover the way of Zen for yourself. Thank you for your attention and have a wonderful day.